Geek! Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Mr. Ebo Richards, CEO of Wide World of Trade Report. Wide World of Trade Report is a member of the IZ Corp Exchange in good standings. Um, you're watching IZ Corp Exchange Television. And this is the Mr. Ebo Richards Divine Sight Analysis. Um, I have to tell you about the King Fund. Um, the King Fund, we advertise for the King Fund. Um, we have a report in from them, the only one today, that the Earth's blood is at 40 970 or is it 4790 4790 I think is what the, the report is if I'm not mistaken and you have the new Braga the new Braga Sport this is Braga Sport you can get it custom designed with your own name on it and uh, you know whatever call you know I have the ice gold and green or the black ice gold and green the ice gold and green representing um, African culture day or something like that. So it looks pretty nice with the bra with the green Braga smart and then the, the, the red collar and then the, the gold numbers and then you can get your name embroidered on it. And this is a new, um, this is Braga sport from the athletic department. You gotta get it. These sell for about uh, $499. You get them custom fitted, custom made. You could get them for your whole family. You get it for your whole office staff. Anyway, let's get right into it. Again, this is Mr. Ebo Richards, Divine Sight Analysis. Um, we're looking at the USA economy again. Um, some of them are flipping around. We got a report from Liel Brennard, our good lady from the, uh, from the Fed yesterday, and some things came out. Not so much of what she said, but it's the arguments that, that trickled down after it. We got a tweet, and they're, uh, they're uncertain about policy. And um, moving forward in the U.S. economy, um, many would argue, many economists would argue that policy is, is very important. And um, if, the, if, the, if the leadership is uncertain about, un uncertain about policy, then the investors and the money coming into the country is going to follow suit. And um, for 2% for GDP for the first three years, um, that could that could be damaged you know just just the uncertainty about policy whatever it is being health care being tax reform um any anything that's uncertain about policy moving forward in the u.s economy is pretty much detrimental for the emerging market scene and for the u.s economy itself um you're looking at the tax breaks between the supply side and the demand side and again i would argue that that's that's policy you know, we're waiting where the market is in between earnings is waiting for to see what the, the tax reform is going to be. Um, you know, many would go for the universal tax, but either way it comes out, the market needs to hear and see something. And if it doesn't, it's going to cause more uncertainty in the market, especially if it doesn't get addressed um, in 2017. Then, you know, you could see like a like a whipsaw, like in 2015, 2016, when when policy was was weakening through the doing through the uh the exiting of quantitative easing and we saw um then corporate earnings corporate corporate earnings got exposed and we saw that those numbers weren't um weren't weren't um the, the balance sheets and the corporate earnings weren't agreeing which was another thing the balance sheets were brought up yesterday in a meeting and the market just the market just couldn't handle it you know you're saying well we're making this amount of money we have this amount of cash but then when you take out the when you take out the mechanics that um that 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 help you that help you get out that helped us get out of the 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 the, the strife and the mess of the market you see that those numbers didn't mix so it's either it's either the corporations are lying or the 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 the, the, the policy was wrong for that type of situation or it was over it was like over exaggerated like we put too much into the system which allowed especially the big banks and the big businesses to say, well, you know what, I have a cushion here where I can say, oh, well, we're making this amount of money, but we're really making way more than that. You know what I'm saying? And that's attractive for an investors. It allows us to say we're going to raise our dividends. But then when it comes out in the wash, 
it's, it just causes more mix up and more panic in the market because people are really, um, really, um, they think differently about their money today since 2008. And they're just not going to sit around and they don't want anything tainted with their money. As soon as they see something that makes them uncomfortable where they could be set back a couple hundred thousand dollars or or 50 percent or they can their 401 could turn into a two or three or one they they're gonna run for the exit that's that's a given um another thing that was concerning is the U, the u.s um ec, ec, um the economic the u.s economic uh situation abroad uh c pertaining to business um the current administration wants businesses to come in and they're taxing um they're, they're, they're literally um demonizing or punishing the countries that are that are housing u.s business and making it more comfortable to to make money so what happens there is as we as the u.s investment is expanding the people that this administration is in 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 conflict with or they don't they don't agree with their trades not agreeing they're gonna feel they're gonna feel it here so what would that do for the businesses that are still trying to strive out there? They're going to take those countries, let's say, for instance, a China is going to take it out on the U.S. businesses that are trying to come in and do business with them. So that is very, um, we say, quote, conflicting as far as growth and expansion for the U.S. economy. And I think that needs to be addressed um, simultaneously with uh, with policy, especially health care reform and um, and tax breaks. Another thing that's really um, that we looked at you now is like we were on a schedule. The U.S. economy is on a schedule to to raise rates quarter here, quarter every so many every year for the next three years. Now with the market's hearing, well, we're going to rethink that, and it's like, well, okay, we're going to rethink raising the rates. What what does that mean? If you're an aggressive, um, if you're on the lower end of the spectrum, and you're an aggressive um, investor or you're starting your business and your business is getting out the surface, getting out the water, you're thinking long term. You know, you're taking money, you're taking investment money, um, you're raising capital, um, you're opening your doors to business, you're creating, you're, you're on social media, you're doing whatever you can, um, if that be the case. And then you hear, um, well, the rates are going to come in. So that's going to be like a stimulus for your business. But then you're hearing, well, we're rethinking the rates. Now the clients that the people you do business with, your customers are sitting back saying, you know what, I'm not so sure if I want to be invested with you for the long term because now we're, there's, again, more uncertainty if we're going to rethink raising the rates. See, you caught me on a deal where we're going we're gonna to be moving like this for the next uh, 10 years to the quarter century. So we could be looking like a Sears and Roebuck, so we can be looking like a a nice business that we could say we've been in business for 20 years everybody's happy um, we can pay our customers give them deals now and we could raise dividends and help ourselves and now you're saying well this can be upset for three or four years if we go back to the to, to the ill behavior of, of living a, a zero interest rate environment or not being on a schedule um, that's another thing um, that investors and people in the U.S. economy are now. They're, they're more punctual. They're more um, dot my I's and cross my T's when it comes to my investors and my investments. And we're just not seeing that out of the leadership of the, of the U.S. Um, economy. The other thing that's really, really concerning is this employment number. And the inflation target is, um, I, I don't even know where, I, I wouldn't even know where to begin. Um, I'm dealing with engaged research right now and 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 we have uh they're showing me two different models and both of them are way overshot on the yield curve as car as far as inflation goes and I'm waiting for a third one by the end of this week um it's like they came out of hyperspace too early it's like you just you just showed up and said this is what the inflation rate is when the inflation rate is supposed to be comfortably not even halfway met you're telling me this is what it is at what a two percent or something um i have to look at it again and that number is um it's not matching it doesn't fit the model of of four percent on unemployment currently and the inflation um target rate is it shouldn't be met right now um if you're looking at taking quantitative easing out of the market which is like taking the sugar the punch bowl away taking this like getting you off the steroid you know, getting you healthy 
Like you just you just had a you fell down. Now you got up and it's like okay, you're rehabbing, and now you're saying, oh, you're ready to go back to work, but you still have six weeks of rehab. But you haven't even started training and rehabilitating. But they're saying okay, now you can go back and play, and that's that's just not how. Um, a recovery works. I don't know what 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 mechanism is driving these these um these these thinkings, these thoughts, and these numbers. But it's not um something that the U.S. economy should be experiencing right now. The U.S. economy and many again many dead brain, dead brain economy uh, economists would argue um, it should be a, a gradual feel for the economy especially with the technology coming in. It's, it's, you, you don't have to push the GDP growth. You don't have to outperform yourself to say, well, as a leader, I did this or I did this. That's not really what the U.S. economy should be about right now. It's not about making money and outperforming. The emerging markets is what it is. You know, you, the finance system is what it is. Um, but you just can't have... Um, you can't be... You just can't be exaggerating or, or trying to make... The market do something or the economy do something that it can't. Um, again, my name is Mr. Ebo Richards, CEO of Wide World of Trade Report. And you just um, watched the uh, Mr. Ebo Richards Divine Site Analysis on IZ Corp Exchange Television. And um, we were f doing a focus on um, it's a U.S. economic update on the U.S. Um, economy on Wide World of Trade Report. And again, I got to tell you, the new Braga, the, the new Braga Sport, you want to get it. I mean, it's well worth the investment. It even has the mesh that, that, that fits your body to make your body exercise while you have it on. Um, you can get them in tank top, short sleeve, and long sleeve. And um, thank you, and have a, a great day.